today I am going to show you one important topic, metacarpal fracture. We are going to do the open reduction and internal fixation of the fourth metacarpal. This 30 year old male guy is a musician, so we don't want anything kind of deformity in the future with the hand. So, generally we are not operating for the metacarpal, but as per the patient and as per our guidelines, we are going to do the open reduction and internal fixation. And I would like to show you the steps of the procedure and how we are going to mobilize the patient. So now we will do the marking. It's better to before the surgery, we have to mark the length of the bone. And in this, uh, we are going to keep the bluster to make the metacarpal in the flexion positions so that fracture will be explored. And uh, now I'll do the marking under the C-arm. So that will help in the skin incision so that in the further we are not going to extend the incision. So this is the skin marking from the metacarpal head to the base on the ulnar aspect. So this patient is having fourth metacarpal fracture. So we are going through the ulnar aspect. If third one, then we'll go for the this side of the ulnar side of this third one. If second one, then we'll go for the second line of the ulnar side. Now I'm going to give the incision and I'll, after the fracture exposure, I'll come back to you. So this is the digital nerve, we have to protect this and after that we will expose the extensor tendon. Take the pickup. Take the whole pick up. Now I can feel the bone and release the fascia here. You can clearly see the intraceye muscles. Now put the finger and try to sweep, try to sweep the intercii.
Wider one we don't have. So this is the fracture line we can see clearly here. One more spike please. One more spike. So now you can see that I have opened the fracture and this is a very long fracture standing from the distal head to the base and this is the long spiral fracture. So I will create this area because this is like 10 days old now. Best thing is just rotate the finger and the laterally and you will open the fracture and it will be easy for the clearing. The difficulty in finding the turret, so I'm just doing it this much here. So yeah. we'll take a wash. So properly after proper exposure of the fracture, just create the crescent. And we'll take a wash and then I'll come back to you for fixation. So now just for the reduction we have to give a little bit of traction and just rotate it externally. And now we'll compress with the bone holding and see the alignment is perfect now and I'm going to put the screws in that. Now you can see the perfect reduction. Oh, and then you can see in the CM also. I'll check with the CM. So it's proper alignment. And length of the metal has been maintained. So now I'm going to do the lag screws. This is 1.1 drill. Huh? It's moving. So we're going to put the second leg screw in the proximal segment. So 
we put the two leg screws and now we are going to put the neutralization plate okay and we'll put hopefully two distal and two proximal screws and then i'll come back to you two distal screws and two screws in the base and we'll check the stability also perfect okay so in the cm also I will close the face here and this is the extensor tendon and this is the digital knob so we are going to preserve this so now I will close the face here and skin and then I will come back to you so this is the face here over the plate we are closing this one this is the dorsal intercei We have to cover the plates, the muscles that will help in the vascularity and help in the healing of the fracture. This is the fascia over the tendon. We have to close it properly. And I close the skin now. Close the skin with the subcutaneous. And this is the subcutaneous stitches I have put to be the cosmetically better. And the patient can avoid of ugly scar. Okay. And I will do the put the steri strip and do the dressing. Okay. So thank you for watching this video. For more surgical videos, please subscribe to our channel.